This video is produced by the UCD Math Support Centre in conjunction with the UCD Access Centre. In this video we will be looking at some examples on how to use proof by induction. Let's try the example that we saw in the previous video. So that said that we wanted to prove that 11 to the power of n minus 6 is divisible by 5 for every positive integer n. So the solution to this the first step is to establish a base case. So what we do is we show that this is true when n is equal to 1. So 11 to the n minus 6 becomes 11 to the 1 minus 6, which is equal to 5. And 5 is indeed divisible by 5. It goes in one time, which is, shows us that the base case is true. The next step, step 2, is to assume that this is true for n is equal to k. So we assume that 11 to the k minus 6 is divisible by 5 for every positive integer k. So all we've really done is rewritten this and instead of an n, we've put in a k. Um, we will see in the third step and in the solution why this is important. Because we will be using this step to actually prove that it's true for n is equal to k plus 1. So for our solution... We assume we've already done our base case for n is equal to 1, and we've assumed that it's true for n is equal to k. So now we will sub in n is equal to k plus 1. So 11 to the k plus 1 minus 6 is the same thing as 11 to the k times 11 minus 6. So we're splitting up the 11 to the k plus 1 as 11 to the k times 11, and the minus 6 will remain as minus 6. Now, the next line down, we have 11 to the k times 10 plus 1. So we're splitting the 11 as 10 plus 1 and leaving the minus 6 as is. Now we're going to distribute the 11 to the k back into the 10 plus 1 bracket. What that gives us is 11 to the k times 10 plus 1 minus 6 becomes 10 times 11 to the k plus 11 to the k minus 6. And you can see the reason we did that is we wanted to get 11 to the k minus 6 by itself. The reason for that is as follows. If we look at each of these bracketed terms, we can see that the first term, 10 times 11 to the k, is divisible by 5, as 10 is divisible by 5, 5 goes into 10 two times. The next bracket, 11 to the k minus 6, is also divisible by 5, and this is based on the assumption where we assumed that it is true for n is equal to k. What this means is, Based on this assumption, this whole thing is indeed divisible by 5. So let's look at another example. Prove that 9 to the n minus 1 is divisible by 8 for every positive integer n. So again, we establish our base case and show that this is true for n is equal to 1. So 9 to the power of 1 minus 1 is equal to 8, which is indeed divisible by 8. Our next step is to assume that it's true for n is equal to k. So we assume that 9 to the k minus 1 is indeed divisible by 8. And again, we will use this fact for step 3. So now we sub in for n as k plus 1, and we must show that 9 to the power of k plus 1 minus 1 is divisible by 8. So following the same steps as we did previously, 9 to the power of k plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 9 times 9 to the k minus 1. We then split up the 9 as 8 plus 1 times 9 to the k minus 1. We then distribute the 9 to the k back into the 8 plus 1 bracket so that we have 9 to the k times 8 plus 9 to the k times 1, which is just 9 to the k minus 1, in two separate brackets. And we can see that the first bracket is indeed a multiple of 8, and is therefore divisible by 8. And the second bracket, 9 to the k minus 1, is also divisible by 8, based on our second step, which was the assumption that 9 to the k minus 1 is divisible by 8, which in turn makes the whole thing divisible by 8. And again, to reiterate, to ensure that the examiner sees you fully understand the work that you've done, the following should be written at the end of your solution. We have shown that it is true for n is equal to 1. 
we have assumed that it is true for n is equal to k, and using these two facts, we have then proven it is true for n is equal to k plus 1, therefore proving that it is true for all positive integers n.